Today, students will solve story problems. We want to quickly remind students that whenever we solve a story problem, we always use UPS check. The first thing we do is understand, then we plan, we use our counters, or we draw a quick picture to match the story, then we solve, and we always check our work. For your lesson on this day, you're going to roll out two story problems to really highlight why it's so important that students use UPS check. You'll start by reading the story. Jenny had six apples. She gave two apples to George. How many apples does Jenny have now? Let's close our eyes, make a movie in our mind. Okay, let's retell. Well, when I retell, the numbers aren't so important, so I saw that Jenny had a lot of apples, and she gave some of those apples to her friend George. And we want to know how many apples Jenny has now. Okay, so I paused to make sure I understood the story. I did two things. I made a movie in my mind and I retold the story in my own words. Now it's time to plan. Let me take out my counters. Jenny had six apples, one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, five apples, six apples. She gave two apples to George. Hmm. Well... That means that she gave part of these apples away to George. So she gave this apple to George and this apple to George. Now we want to know how many apples Jenny has now. Well, Jenny still has this apple and this apple and this apple and this apple. So I'm going to count the apples that Jenny has left. And that's what I don't know. Okay, so I used my counters to model all the parts of the story. I started with all six apples. I showed that she gave two apples to George, and I showed that these are the apples that Jenny has now. Those are the ones she has left. Now let me do the math and write a number sentence. So we started with all six of Jenny's apples. She gave two of them away. That means that we took a part away. So we can say minus two, and it equals however many apples Jenny has now. Now let's figure it out. Six minus two is one, two, three, four. So Jenny has four apples now. Then take students back through going through to check their work. Okay, friends, so we just used UPS check to solve this story problem. I want to show you one more story. Listen as I read it. Jenny had six apples. Ooh, this sounds really similar to this blue story that we just solved. George gave her two apples. How many apples does Jenny have now? This sounds like the exact same story that we just solved. I want you to close your eyes and think about it. Jenny had six apples. George gave her two apples. How many apples does Jenny have now? Now this moment when we're comparing the purple story and the blue story is where we really want students to make sense of the stories and explain why they're different. So this is where you'll launch your turn and talk. Okay friends, so we solved the blue story and we just closed our eyes and imagine the purple story, I want you to turn and talk. Are these two stories the same? How do you know? Call on a few students to share their ideas. What we don't want to hear is add or subtract. We want students to make sense of how these stories are different based on the relationship between the numbers. And then back to your lesson. Okay, so even though these stories sound really similar, they both have Jenny, they both have six, they both have two, they both have George, they both ask us how many apples Jenny has now, they are not the same. That is why it's so important that we pause to make sure we really understand our stories. Let's draw a model to match the purple story. Jenny had six apples, one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, five apples, six apples. George gave her two more apples. The apples that George gave her are not a part of the apples she already had. We're joining the apples George gave her with the apples she already had. How many apples does Jenny have now? Well, Jenny has the apples she already had and the apples that George gave her. And that's what we don't know. Let's write a number sentence. Jenny had six apples, George gave her two more. That means that we joined the apples that she had and the apples that George gave her. So we have six and two more. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Let's count how many apples Jenny has now. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, because we're counting the apples she had and the ones George gave her. So Jenny has eight apples now. And then wrap it up and put a nice bow on it. Just like our friends told us, even though these two stories sound really similar, they're not the same. So it is so important that we slow down to make sure we understand all the parts of the story 
before we get our counters out, before we write a number sentence, before we solve, and before we go back and check our work. Okay, and then just lots of practice together. As you're going through the GP and the IP, you will notice that there's a mix of story problems. That is intentional to make sure that we really get to this big idea with kids, to make sure they're really reading to understand.